Welcome back, everyone here to Bronx. So today we're going to be talking about the generational talent, Juan Soto, and how far can he take the Yankees in 2024? The first series has just come to a close, and Juan Soto exceeded everyone's expectations. I mean, this guy was putting up video game numbers. He came through in the clutch, it seemed like, every single time. It was just an awesome, amazing series for not only Juan Soto, but the Yankees as well. And it really showed what could be a preview of how impactful Juan Soto is for the New York Yankees and all the great things he could do for this franchise um, for the rest of the season and hopefully for many more years to come. But Christian, what were your first um, expectations or your, your first glimpse of Juan Soto? Yeah, I mean, he, he was awesome. And I think Boone said it perfectly. I mean, the piece the Yankees were missing last year was Juan Soto. And he brings a lot to this team, right, in, in terms of his energy um, and his intensity. But, I mean, bottom line, he's just an amazing, amazing baseball player. And, look, the biggest thing I was just impressed with was his at-bats. I mean, I, I know how great of a hitter he is, but – how locked in he was for every at bat and whether it was the ninth inning with the game tied against hater or his second at bat in, in the fourth inning, he's just never going to give a pitcher a free pitch. And that is something that you just don't really see from hitters nowadays. I mean, he is, if you throw a pitch in the zone and you to get him out, you have to make really good pitches. Right. And if you do that, he's going to nod his head. I mean, he'll tip his cap. But if you make a mistake, he's just going to punish it and he's not going to expand. I mean, his at bats were probably the most impressive at bats I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. And his focus and his skill set are contagious. And it looks like it's rubbed off on a lot of Yankees. He's leading by example. I mean, one guy who had an amazing series. Oswaldo Cabrera said he just felt like he got better at baseball by watching Juan Soto. And that's really, really nice to see that energy um, and, and that focus and that ev intensity level and everything that Juan Soto brings being able to rub off on some of the Yankees. And that's really going to be beneficial because if all the Yankees could play like Juan Soto, I mean, that team's going to the World Series and winning it. And it was really, really nice to see that he was leading by example. And it's crazy to think he's only 25 years old and he's left such an impact already on so many players. Alex Verdugo in the post game yesterday called Juan Soto a dog. And it, it's just amazing to see. And I feel like that good energy and the back and forth conversations that Soto will be able to have with his teammates and him leading by example is really going to help out a lot of the young players. You know, guys like Volpe, we already saw Cabrera. Austin Wells, and it's going to help some of the veterans too, maybe it will help them tweak their swings or, or see something there on the mound and, and be able to make an adjustment at the plate. Yeah, a hundred percent. And, you know, can this guy keep doing this and, and can he keep putting the Yankees roster on his back? No. Um, he's an amazing player, but I mean, even judge when he's at his peak still couldn't do that. But I think the Yanks are in a great position where, Soto's not going to have to do that. And, you know, for anyone that's concerned about Judge, his 2022 season started the exact same way. First four games, he had no homers and one double. So there's no reason to be concerned about that. And once a little bit or, or a few more guys in the lineup get going, it just becomes deeper, right? And, and even if Soto, you know, he's not going to hit 500 every series, but – the quality at bat that he's going to give every single time, it's just wearing on a pitcher. And especially when you have multiple guys in your lineup that can do that, you know, Soto, Judge, and Rizzo, that can just work and work and work. I'm telling you, it's just going to tire out pitchers. You're going to be a pest for other teams. And it's really the perfect uh, formula uh, to win games. So I, I mean, and Soto is going to be at the heart of it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he was amazing to watch in this first series. Yeah, and also, not only the performance on the field was electric, everything that came once came with Juan Soto and the energy that he brought. I mean, after having, you know, a big hit 
yesterday to give the Yankees the win or throwing out Dubon at home on opening day. Juan Soto's in the postgame interview has the hat backwards looking like Ken Griffey Jr. Um, in that home run derby in Baltimore years ago. He brings that swagger. He brings that energy. Had a bat flip on his game-winning hit yesterday. He's pounding his chest on first base like King Kong. And that's something we've been saying for years now with the Yankees. They need to have more energy. They need to loosen up. And they can't be so businesslike on the field. And not only is Juan Soto's performance and, you know, the great things he does on the field, it's starting to rub off on some of the players. That energy that he brings is starting to rub off on some of the other players as well. And if they're having fun and they're loose out there, then everyone's going to play good. If you feel good, you're going to play good. And it's just going to make showing up to the ballpark every single day really special. Like you wake up and you want to beat that team. You want to go play baseball with Juan Soto. And he's bringing that energy. And as a fan, we love to see that energy. We love to see someone care so much about the game. And finally, the Yankees aren't so businesslike and stuck up. Like they're actually having shown some energy and they're showing they want to win. And as a fan, I mean, that's everything you want to see and more. And even some of the other guys they brought in, you know, Marcus Stroman, Alex Verdugo, the energy is definitely there and it's back in the Bronx. And we haven't seen something like that in a very long time. We haven't. And I, I do think that does play a factor uh, above just what the numbers say. And really the last thing I'll say on Soto is, I mean, defense looks great. I, I know he's not really known for it, but look, he, he saved the game uh, on opening day, throwing the runner out, and seems like he pretty much got to every fly ball that he should have, uh, especially in Yankee Stadium. I really don't think it's going to be at all of a problem. Uh, I don't know about playing him in left, so especially when Dominguez comes back, should be interesting to see how they do the whole alignment. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the defense really didn't seem at all uh, like a problem, which is the only knock you could uh, potentially have on Juan Soto's game. Yeah, I mean, he was clutch on both sides of the ball um, during this series, started it off on defense, and then yesterday closed it out on the offensive side of the ball. And, Christian, it looks like Juan Soto could be the missing piece uh, for the Yankees that they finally got the last piece to the puzzle and, you know, John Smoltz was saying on the broadcast on Saturday night, you know, he was the player the Yankees were looking for to transform a bad team and make them really good. And obviously they brought in other additions, but he's the headline. He's the superstar name that everyone's looking forward to. And he could be that last piece of the puzzle and finally gets the Yankees their 28th championship. 